Ready to fly. Yeah! Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Foam Fighters. I've got Jake here with me. And uh, this week the flight test crew came out with the tough tilts. And um, we were going to do something similar to what, what Josh was doing with his dragonfly, but then uh, something came to mind. We were kind of you know, just kind of searching on the internet. We came across dual copters, something that we hadn't got into yet. And he gave us two tough tilts. So we figured, well, why not try to do a dual copter since probably everyone else is going to do a tricopter. And so um, we went into it, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into, <laughs> and it was a pain in the butt because there is literally nothing out there. So when you when you did your initial research, what did you find? Uh, we found out that we couldn't use the servers that we the servos that we originally tried. So we got these three sixty degree servos. And yeah, it's um, so we tried this first one here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a regular uh, G90s's, and they fit in the tough tilt fine. But um, when we were running it, it, it just it didn't didn't do the job. But um, Josh gave us these ES stand. I think they come standard with uh, their kits that they sell at Flight Test, and um, these things were amazing. They they absolutely just kick butt. It was nice, smooth. Um, movements with the motors and all that but um when we were making this we you know i told jake go on the on the internet and find what you can find you know find some videos find some build tips and there was nothing so he's like well marshall there is nothing I'm like oh crap okay so we originally had the um the mini and this is just an uh one of those old crappy mall coppers you can get uh, that don't really fly very well and so we just we're not flying it anyway so we just destroyed it and then put all this stuff in there but anyways, we had the Mini first, right? And so we're like, well, just for the sake of space, we put the Mini controller in. And it didn't do very well. It wasn't very good at all. But we also had, we also had the whole motor section, or boom, inside the, or on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And that didn't seem to work either. Because when we finally figured out how to do all the controls, because when you do dual copter on the Mini Quad, or on the KK board, it is not right. Not right at all. So if you just think you're going to go standard stock setup on a dual copter, it's not going to work. You're going to have to do a little research. But we came across this guy called Ro Robot or Robert Oho. And he's, and I'll put it up on the video too, but um, this was from RC Groups. And he goes through um, pretty much saying the exact same thing we did. There's no build videos on it. There's no text on how to set up a dual copter. So he did it. And uh, we were fortunate, we followed it right to the T, and it was perfect. The only problem is the Mini and one of the bad servos and the bad motor. We crashed this thing, I don't know, probably 12, 15 times before we just were like, all right, screw it, we need to, we need to change up our game plan here. And so the tough tilts were fine. The tough tilts stood by their name, but everything else was, was done. So we switched to Kiki 2, right? Yep. And then we put in the new servos, uploaded the dual copter on uh, for the uh, mini board, or for not for the mini board, for the KK2 board. And then all we did was we had to go in and change the uh, mixer editor, um, and he has it all on this, what to put all the settings for. So I believe the motors were fine, and it was the servos that needed to be swapped on the rotor and aileron piece. Mm -hmm. um, our PI editor, we brought everything down, all the gains down. Um, and then with the DX6, we even brought um, all of our controls down to like 40 percent. Really low, so it's like yeah. Low because low. when we fly this thing, you know, it's it flies fine, but when you're uh, when you're doing the um, elevator, you know, back and forth, it it'll want to swing, <laughs> and if you pull back too hard, it'll it'll do its thing, and then trying to get it back, you're just going to keep swiveling until eventually you crash. But the rudder has great control, and the aileron has great control. But we comped all down to 40, I think, on all of them with a little bit of difference. I think we did like 25%, 30% of the throw. So, other than that, what did you think of the build? It was really hard trying to get, because at first we didn't, we couldn't find a dual connector to connect two ESCs together. 
and then we couldn't figure out why the KK2 board wasn't working. <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. But then once once we kind of you know got our hands dirty and we're figuring it out, it literally took us the second time to get all this back in with new equipment. It only took us but maybe 15 minutes to put it all together. It wasn't very long um, to put in the servos. I mean, the servos messed up. It's not like a huge process. You just cut the two tabs off and pull it off. Get the new servo on there, do the, the two new um, linkages on there, and you're fine. You don't have to deal too much. But other than that, it was a cool project to do together real fast. Um, and uh, here's some flight footage of it. Wind definitely affects it a little bit. That rocking is crazy. It's almost like you just gotta let it go when it runs to the rock like that. Huh? I'm not that good. That's not too bad. Top tilts in action. Oh, oh, you're done. Oh, oh, oh! How oh. <laughs> is it? It's fine. Okay, put it in the grass, blow all that snow off. It is so cool looking though. I can see how guys get into the, uh, what's that, Avatar one? There you go, Jim. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, you're done. Oh, good recovery. It's almost like we've got to like, let the elevator go. You know? And we pick up that. Oh, <laughs> I had to pick it, bro. Alright, we'll fix it. You still filming? Get over here, Jake. Hey, good job on the project. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, something fun to do. It obviously, you know, there's a reason why there's not a whole lot of dual coppers out there is because they're they're not very easy <laughs> they're hard. But we did put the tough tails to the test, and they um, they held up just fine. Nothing's nothing's wrong with them. They look like they're brand new. The only thing that was our, our boom just broke off our top piece. We'll just zip tie that back on. And, Let's keep practicing these. Other than that, thanks Jake for helping out with the project. Thanks for watching.